Morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119 It's about 4 o'clock in the morning here, time to get to work I've not worked on this yet, I'm waiting on the transformer Okay, so we have another Heathkit SB221 I have two of these in now So, needs a metering board Air variables look good, band switch looks good, but I'm going to double check, but first glance looks good. Has the Harbach filter cap board kit in it. I'm going to change the meter lamp bulbs, put in the series glitch resistor, change the plate blocking cap, change the parasitic suppressors, clean the contacts on the band switch, clean the contacts on the TR relay. So this one has 10 meters, someone put 10 meters in it. I'm going to ground the grids, do the bias modification, change the electrolytic cap. I'm going to take the soft start out. I'm going to clean up all the wiring. A lot of times these fail. It's not needed. And what happens if someone has a short takes out one of these resistors. The transformers are wound well, so they limit the inrush current. So uh, change those wires, fix all the solder joints over here. And, uh, you know, do whatever else needs to be done. So, stay tuned and I'll be back. See you guys soon. To add something, just to clarify, if, if someone has a short upon startup before the relays engage, that's when those resistors fail. Okay? And I just noticed something I want to point out. Look at this lead for this ceramic disc cap. It's literally almost touching ground right there. See that? So... Someone made a mistake there when they installed that. Someone soldered a wire here for some reason at some point. So all of this stuff will get cleaned up. You can see the pretty solder work. Okay, so also change electrolytic. All right, so I'll be back. See you guys soon. Okay, I got the bottom done. I'll show that after. I just want to show something really quick here. So little things like this, I go unnoticed a lot of times when people repair stuff so see the center pin it was overheated and there's a big hole here in the phenolic so I'll take that out replace it and put a brand new Teflon type in there and uh, I'll get back to work see you soon hey everybody I want to touch on something really quick you know I give people credit for wanting to try to do some work themselves but it's best to just let me do it. Uh, you know, this gentleman had purchased some Harbach kits and also some of those kits from overseas. But uh, I'll only use the Harbach ones, I won't use the other ones. So here's the metering board. It's okay that he stood the components off the board a tiny bit, but the solder joints are not good. They're blobs, solder, some are okay, a lot are not. So, the side's better, but there are still some that are not great. So that will cause me to have to touch them all up, which uh, will take me more time than if I just put it together myself. So, for the sake of getting it done quicker, I don't have a board here, I'd have to order one, so I will fix the solder work. But, so please just let me do it, let me order the kits, let me put them together. Uh, it's just going to cost you more in the end, and I, if, if a kit was put together by the customer installed and that I cannot, I, I will not warranty that work I mean that you know portion so if someone puts a metering board in something happens I will not warranty that same goes for filter caps or any other kits they install um, unless they have me take it out and completely redo it so I will touch up on the solder joints and I will install this and, uh, see you guys soon Okay, I'm back with the completed SB220. Sam's getting a fresh set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company. Can't say enough good stuff about them. Great product. 
stellar customer service. So, okay, so I'm going to go over, over everything I did. Grounded the grids the right way with copper strap directly to the chassis. Did not use craft wire or thin gauge wire. Brand new SO239 connector over here. So, once again, these leads for the 0.01 caps, I mean 0.005 caps here, were almost touching. So I fixed that problem. I got rid of that lead that was almost touching ground that would have brought one side of the filament to ground. Customer provided a soft key board. So I installed that for him. Ran new Teflon wiring over to the terminal strip. Everything's soldered really nice now. Flip the breaker upside down so these leads aren't right up against the cover. What else did I do? New electrolytic cap. I got rid of the wire that was soldered here for whatever reason. Did the bias modification. Resoldered the center lead for the output coax to the relay. Had a bad solder joint. Rezip tied everything. And uh, I think that's about it for the bottom. So I will. Oh, another thing. Bad solder joints over here. I mean, they just barely put a you know any solder on here. So I made sure I got the entire conductor. I soldered it really well. Okay, so I will flip it over and I'll show you the top and clean the relay with toxic gold. Be right back. Reinstalled this bar. To change the connector and to ground this pin on the socket for the grid connection, I always remove this. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over. Be right back. Okay, so I wound new parasitic suppressors. Tubes have been removed. I don't like to flip it over, over and over again with the tubes installed. So, clean the output rotary switch. Got rid of those washers on the plate side. You don't want steel isolating the connection. You don't want it, you know, in between the the capacitor and the chassis. You know, there are no binding issues, so there was no need for them. They do more harm than good. Fixed all the solder joints on the board the best I could. Put the series glitch resistor in, new meter lamp bulbs. I tighten the inner nut for each meter. Replace the B positive wire and the B negative wire. So, this thing is good to go. Also, clean the input rotor switch with deoxygold and the multimeter switch with deoxygold. So, if you need any amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Here's my phone number and my website ampreparegui.com. 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. 73.